Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. A rather gorgeous evening at that, despite the rain that a lot of us saw last night. that kind of spiraled out. We have managed to stay dry throughout the day today. It's not going to be the case as we head towards the overnight hours, though. We could see another round of some severe thunderstorms as we head pretty much after midnight. Looks to be our best chance. That's not our only chance over the next couple or 48 hours, rather, either. We could see another uh, round as we head towards Saturday evening into Sunday morning. Again, neither one of these these rounds look to be as severe as what we saw last night, but still something to keep an eye out for. And then after that, things kind of start to dry out. The heat will build in this weekend, and that muggy air will make a return. And next week just looks to be a typical kind of summer week, hot and muggy one at that. But as far as the next couple of days go, going to see some rounds of rain. You can see satellite and radar there. A few spotty showers that kind of clipped just the southern portion of the viewing area around I-35 there. But a lot of it has since moved out in we are experiencing lots of sunshine in many spots. You can look at our Manhattan camera, seeing a few clouds out there off in the distance, but still that sun beaming down on them. Not really any clouds over Emporia. And as far as the capital city goes, we're just seeing a few clouds here, but our temperature isn't that bad. We're looking at about 85 currently here in the capital city. That dew point is in the lower 70s, so it feels like 90 degrees this evening. That's not what we typically see this time of year as far as the actual temperature goes. We usually, are just shy of 90 degrees, so the temperature has increased about a degree or so, but we will probably stay below average. It's not as bad here in northeastern Kansas as far as southwestern Kansas. They're looking at triple digits for their actual temperatures, so we're grateful that the rain did give us some cooler temperatures for today. That muggy air isn't going to help them over the next couple of days. That oppressive air starts to make a return Saturday evening, especially as we head towards Sunday during the day and into early parts of next week. That Impressive air really does make a comeback, bringing in higher dew points, so you'll really feel that moisture in the air. But as far as the next couple of hours go, we should manage to stay dry. Rain chances start to increase as we head towards after midnight late, or early tomorrow morning, rather. That round of some showers and storms starts to make its way through. Main things to be associated with these things, with these storms, rather, it's going to be some decent sized hail, some stronger winds, and again, heavy rainfall, of course, as well. But as we head towards uh, Saturday morning, those start to push off to our east and maybe even see some peaks of some sunshine throughout the day as well. And then as we head towards Sunday morning, you may see a few more spotty showers, but again, nothing on the severe side really with that one. But because of the storms that we could be seeing tonight, there's a slight risk for some severe weather for the entire viewing area. So again, something to keep an eye out for. But because of that rain that we experienced last night and the rain we will be receiving tonight as well, we are in a flash flood watch for at least a good portion of the viewing area that goes in effect 10 o'clock tonight until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So a few rounds of rain that we're going to have to see over the next couple of days and then after that the heat really starts to build in, seeing temperatures in the middle to upper 90s by, part, by parts of next week. And hopefully it starts to back off the heat and the humidity as we head towards the end of next week. Yeah, that would be nice. But again, not too bad for... And I the, always say not too bad because it could be so much worse. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> always how it could be. All right.